All right, what's up, YouTubers? Mac, two brothers again. Um, doing it a little different this week. We're actually filming back-to-back -back days where we typically split stuff up uh, over a week. Um, just kind of due to scheduling with New Year's, Christmas, stuff like that. We, we missed a day last week, but uh, got some cool stuff going today. We're actually running some wheels over to one of our dealers real quick. Short staff this week, been battling some sicknesses. We've had like two, three, I think four people out one day. Um, you know, it's that time of year, everybody's got bronchitis and all the, all the bugs and stuff. So they're slammed. Um, we're gonna go grab them lunch while we're out, uh, kind of help, help out there. We try to, you know, take care of the guys when we can. They, they bust their butt. I, I really don't, don't give those guys enough credit. Um, got a great team of guys so really appreciate all you guys um but yeah we're gonna run a couple quick errands drop these wheels off pick up some lunch and then we're gonna head back to the shop and we'll show you a couple things we got going today you may see a vehicle that was still in there from yesterday even though this is probably going to be released a week later but uh yeah we'll, we'll be back soon and show you what's going on That's crazy. Shoot ya. That's what I like to see. Those new styles that y'all just released. Those are those are dope. I, I've got to get you something here in a few days. I just, like I said, it's it's been crazy. You the man. Have a good day. Do you know what drink this is? Do you have a drink carrier by chance? All right, you as well. Thank you. Hey, Chris. Got y'all's food. Thanks, sir. Y'all see y'all done got this thing wrapped up. Yep. You want to tell us a little bit what we did on it? Yeah, it's a 2022 Platinum. We did a two inch rough country leveling kit on it with 22 by 12 uh, tough wheels with some 35, 12, 50, 22 high to RTs. We do a lot of these two inch level kits on these trucks. They really set them off. Yeah, nice little setup, you know, in and out, pretty economical to get you, you know, picked up off the ground out of, you know, stock form. Um, good way to like bridge the gap between, you know, a full on lift kit versus just a leveling kit. But I mean, this is a good usable setup, nice clean look, good looking wheel. Y'all knocked it out. Food's here, Thanks, time to eat. Appreciate it, boys. Getting these gladiators and JTX forged. About to put these badass JTXs on this thing. Temporary setup. Get all these factory wheels off. Less grandpa fied. Make this thing pretty cool. So American Force sends these big dually adapters for these trucks uh basically a wheel bolts on here works just like a normal spacer would uh these are super super good quality this thing probably weighs about 25 30 pounds probably itself uh they make some for the front and for the rear we gotta put these on first and uh then we'll get to put the wheels on need some lugs to hold them bad boys on Now we'll be torquing down these adapters to 165 foot-pounds to make sure they stay on. Uh, factory Ford spec. Um, once Andy here gets out of our way, we'll get that done and get these wheels put on for y'all. As most of you probably know, if you didn't see uh, last week, we gave it, we left it up to you guys to pick what temporary setup would be going on this truck. Um, the winner was the JTX Schizo 37 inch Gladiator, putting these on this truck and uh, I'm gonna get them all bolted on and show you guys what it looks like after and hope you guys like it. Got 
got some lunch in us back at it. Uh, they're bolting the wheels up. This is my personal truck, uh, 2022 F450. Uh, we're going to be doing a bigger setup soon, but this is just kind of a little temporary filler. Uh, shout out to Ready Lift. Uh, those guys are always taking good care of us. Uh, we love their level kits on the Aluma Duty stuff, really all platforms. This is a two and a half inch level kit that we put on here. It's a little more than just your standard puck level kit. Um, comes with a couple more components. Uh, I've got one over here. We keep these things in stock. We use them all the time. Just want to highlight a couple of differences in these. You're going to spend a little bit more money for it, but it's a little bit more premium product. Biggest thing does come with a track bar bracket. So when you level these trucks, being straight axle, kicks the wheels to one side or the other. Uh, the track bar bracket is what re-centers the axle. That way one wheel's not further out than the other. Uh, up to about two inches you can get away without the track bar bracket, but that's a nice add-on uh, that comes with that level kit. Also, you got some brake line brackets just to drop the brake lines down a little bit, give them a little bit more slack. Sway bar drop brackets. So this again drops the sway bar, helps uh, fix that angle on the sway bar. That way it's just you know, less wear and tear, working more optimal, things of that nature. And then of course your spacer. It's Ready Lift likes to show off their product. Uh, they put a lot of money into R&D and stuff like that. So it goes on top of the cool spring rather than on, on the bottom. It gives it a little bit, you know, just a little nicer look. Nothing wrong with the, the standard two inch level kits. We do a ton of those as well. A little more budget friendly. Um, on the 17 up Aluma duties, 11 through 16, F250s, 350s. Really, this is my favorite way to level them. So just kind of wanted to point that out again. Thanks to the guys at Ready Lift. Uh, they're always taking good care of us. They do make bigger kits as well. We do a, a decent bit of their larger kits. Um, we space the bumper forward about three quarters of an inch. Uh, that's to clear these big 37 inch tires with just the level kit. We've got the 24 inch JTX Forge Schizo. I know Austin already touched on those. Uh, we did a Tremor small valence. You know, these things come with a huge six, seven inch valence on it. A lot of guys, especially when they're lifted, it's, it's big, bulky. Personally, I think the, the smaller one looks good. Uh, that's off the Tremor model. It's, it's the smallest one Ford makes. That way you don't have to cut the valence, nothing there. Some very minor trimming right here, remove the mud flap, actually trim the mud flap, put it back in its original location. That way everything just looks nice, neat, clean. And we also tossed on a backflip, backflip MX4 cover. Uh, it's one of my favorite bed covers. Uh, very easy to use. Drop the tailgate. Of course, it's lockable. Uh, folds up, folds four times, get your full bed back, all that good stuff. You can keep golf clubs, valuables, whatever, kind of acts like a trunk to protect that stuff. But with the ability to fold up, take it off in 10 minutes, one of the best bed covers on the market as far as I'm concerned. But uh, gonna be doing some paint match stuff to this thing soon. Uh, get a little bit more white involved on it. And then we've got uh, big lift, even bigger wheels coming. We'll get into that a little bit later, probably a couple of months out on that stuff. But uh, yeah, stay tuned on that. Another pretty sweet car here, 2014 Porsche uh, Turbo S 911. Putting some new Michelins on it. Uh, it does have the center lock and you know we've got the capability of handling the center lock all that good stuff these things have to be torqued like 440 foot pounds uh, doing the pilot sport cup two tires on it be a perfect canyon carver great you know couldn't pick a better tire for this car this thing is super sweet but uh kind of what we got going on right now here after lunch wrapping up the f-250 uh, we'll take you around back and show you a couple things back there as well. And we'll, we'll see uh, about backing this out here in just a few. Drew is wrapping up this F-150. I think he talked about it a little bit on yesterday's episode. Uh, customer was dead set on some super swampers. So this is pretty meaty tire, not something we do a whole lot, but we can get super swampers if that's what you want. Um, it's gonna be, aggressive looking for sure 
which is what he was after. So that's, that's great. Uh, XF off-road wheels, six inch rough country on this guy. Uh, did the amp running boards. Also taking care of some brake work while it's in here. Uh, it's stuff it needed. So that's you know kind of one other benefit. We can knock that stuff out while it's here. We're gonna load some wheels up. Uh, got a customer picking some up. 20 by 10 fuels. We gotta load these up real quick. Yes, sir. Kind of hectic today. Like I said, being shorthanded definitely doesn't help anything, but we're, we're always fast paced. It's constantly go, go, go. That's just retail. Um, if you're not busy, you're not getting stuff done. So that's fine by us. We like it, we love it. But uh, yeah, we're got a couple other oddball mechanic projects going inside and in the top shop. Really don't know the specifics of those, but uh, got some good stuff going today. Uh, we'll have the 450 wrapped up here in just a few, 250, the 2022 250, have it wrapped up in just a few, get some shots of those things and see what it's looking like. It was real close between B and C. Had somebody call, wanting C. We're business people, we sold them. Uh, honestly, I think C won by just a smidge, yeah. but hey, I mean, customer wants them. Uh, obviously, they, they get priority, so B wound up on here. Uh, you really couldn't have went, went wrong with either, no, either no. truck or either wheel, but uh, all three looks, of them look good. But... Looks killer. Y'all killed it, as always. Oh, yeah. just god it's awesome no more papaw truck no more papaw truck that's not allowed here no not not at all you got the spike spike lug caps on it sets it off and dude the gladiators killer think did you see it from the back how wide this thing is dude you gotta get a shot of this mm. that looks oh, good shit. i think we did good oh yeah for sure oh yeah so just wanted to show you this uh, 2022 F-250 real quick. This is one Chris was talking about earlier. Uh, shout out to Miss Stanley. She came down from like above Knoxville, around Knoxville area, a couple hours. Uh, she waited with the truck. We got her you know, pretty well in and out, three-ish three -ish hours or so. Um, just a quick recap, did a two inch rough country level kit, tough T2A wheels, gloss black and milled, did the black spike lugs on it and uh, wrapped it in some 35 1250 Haida RT tires. Quick, simple, effective, good looking setup. And uh, she's ready to rock and roll. So we'll uh, hop in my truck and ride over, get some pictures of that. Location. I think Liam's got some really good shots of the truck. Uh, we'll wrap those into the video. That way you can guys can see it in a little more detail. Again, this thing turned out just stellar, stellar. Thanks again to the guys at Ready Lift. Uh, thanks to the guys at JTX Forged. Everybody that's you know constantly helping us out. Thanks again to the guys at the shop. Always doing a great job. They came in early this morning, uh, seven o'clock to knock out my wheels and tires for me. Uh, threw the level kit on the other day, kind of end of the day after hours. It's always, you know, hard to find time to work on your own stuff when, when you're busy. But, it, you know, much rather be working on customer stuff, uh, taking care of you guys. We appreciate it. Um, pretty well wraps everything up for today. You know, the, the usual like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Uh, if we can help you, give us a shout, 423-790-7447. Thanks, guys.